all you pencil pushers, all you kids that want to sit with the laptop at the desk, sit in the office on your ass. 60 year old man out here signing about two million a day. Okay, I don't own an iPad, I don't own a laptop, and I really don't care to have none of that shit because it's all about door to door. Follow me. Steve Chambers. I've been doing this for 30 years. I uh, worked with Marty Haight, my best friend, for probably 15, 20 years, and uh, I love it. It's a game to me, and I, I love it. Well, we got a hurricane here, Ida. Uh, it's a major hurricane, uh, a lot of damage. It's uh, not as bad as Panama City, but it's right next to it. And uh, we've probably signed, I don't know, six million in commercial roofing in a week, and probably another couple of million in residential and uh, it's probably gonna be one of the best roofing storms we've had in a long time. See, these were good people, home down people, uh, help you out people, they're not snobby people. So I got in with the judge in town, the, one of the city planners, uh, the zoning manager, the sheriff, and good people. And they, I did, did what I said I was gonna do and kept my word and, and took care of them. And uh, they're just passing my cards out and I'm signing them right and left. We're going to the motorcycle shop which the sheriff's son owned, and uh, they signed up to dry the roof in and to re-roof it. So we're gonna go over there and look at it, inspect some of the work, and, uh, take some pictures, and it's all good. What we got here is a uh, K&M player shop. I sold the uh, dry-in on it, and then uh, it's about 200 squares TPO. And then the man signed up the same day for a reroof. So we had the guys uh, loose lay the TPO and uh, dry it in. It's gonna be a year. It'll be a year for this claim is resolved. So we gotta dry this building so it holds up. So about all the only thing we could do was loose lay the TPO. And uh, it really looks nice. Let's go up this ladder and see what all they've done. I hate climbing this ladder. I'm too damn old, man. We have about 10 crews, uh, about four TPO crews, seven shingle crews. The guys did a really good job, clean job. We're fixing to shrink wrap these uh, air conditioners. So then, uh, we don't have any more, uh, any more water penetrating the building. Uh, this TPO was about all we could do, the way the building's built. Yeah, that's just all the PVC that was on the building. Just get it off the roof. Yeah, what we did, we got gravel, tar and gravel here. The parapet walls were all blowed out. Years of neglect, and so, uh, we came in here and loose laid TPO and we uh, seamed it and uh, tucked it under the wall and flashing and cleaned the scuffers out and there's just not enough drains. This, all the water's sloping hard and there's four drains in this wall. There's not enough drains and they're not big enough. So we're gonna cut bigger drains in here. One of the air conditioners flew off the curb, hit the roof and punctured holes in it too, which Made the, the, the flat roof felt, the, the, the insulation filled up with water, so the whole roof's holding water. And, uh, but anyway, it looks, looks better today, for sure. Uh, it's gonna be a while before this claim settles, so we gotta keep this man happy. This is the only way you can keep him happy, right here. There you see over here, the same size, flew off, hit the roof, penetrated the roof, and then, uh, so we, 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 we picked it up and took it off the roof. Got all our pictures. Got all our pictures, got it off the roof, and everything looks good. I said, we get through here, we'll go to my grocery store up the street. It's 1,000 squares of TPO. We did a 150 square try-in on it. And so, yeah, it's up the street, so we'll, let's go take a look. 
I saw it back there in the limbs. Nobody looked, nobody saw. Used to go out, me and Jim Thomas, he's 70 years old. We'd go out to somewhere and we'd get lost. He'd say, you know what happens every time we get lost? I said, we find a million dollar job, Papa. He said, we're lost now and look across the street. There they'd be. Look back here, boys. Everybody passed this because I can tell there's no tarps on the roof and these managers sitting right over here and I'm fixing to go in here and find out what's going on with this deal because this is a good one. There's no manager, but we got some maintenance guys. Look here, no tarps on the roof. The roofs are total. Yeah, we're going to talk to these guys and see what the hell's going on here. What's going on, guys? Hey, is the manager around? I want to sell them a roof. They need tarps on the roof. Yeah, I'll check in the office. Thank you. This is dream right here because nobody's been in here because there's no tarps and everybody left and it's just sitting there decaying and molding. And then when I go get my dry out, guys, oh, baby. It just makes it better because I bring them along with me and we get the roof and the dry out done all at once and the people are tickled. But I can tell you that now, there, there won't be a manager. I've been going to these apartment complexes right and left, and there's no manager. So, I don't know, let me see. I gotta call uh, uh, Lee. I'm with the cameraman, we're making movies today. I wanna know, do I get paid extra for movie making? I wanna get paid, all right? This shit's worth money. Oh, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. We'll go down here at the grocery store. Yeah. We did a repair, a uh, $75,000 repair, which you're gonna get the roof to, it'll be three million, I think. Two, two or three million. How'd you get this one? Uh, uh, just talking to a guy in, the, uh, in a restaurant, and uh, he, he used to be a retired roofer, and he worked for this man, this man's a billionaire, and uh, he works for him, and he was just like, uh, hey, man, y'all meet me over here, and let's, let's talk about this. And so, that's what we did. Uh, so far, it's, everything's gone great. Look at this mall here. This mall is huge. And usually when they get these malls, they have to get four or five companies to handle one because they're so big. There's a lot of jobs here. A lot of good jobs. Look at all them roofs. There's lots of houses, lots of residential, all the shingle roofs you want to sell in this store. Like I mean, here. there's yeah, there's a hundred miles of damage by a hundred miles, okay? So you just go into a neighborhood, find the neighborhood you want, and bear down. I mean, look at this one right here. It's perfect. Uh, guy go in there and just sit in there and go house to house. Don't skip around. Drive 15 miles across town for people. Just stay in your neighborhood. Go house to house. You'll get all the jobs you want. Then when you're building, you're right there. And you're not running material all over the state of Louisiana. That's, that's, the, I, that's the program right there. You, you, you get into a place, you make it your place every day. You stay in it where everybody knows who you are. Everybody sees who you are. And they, they know that you're not going to leave them hanging. And they talk to people. And so before you know it, you got them. People think it's just a redneck hick town with a bunch of uh, fishermen and stuff. It's not. It's got oil money. It's got good money. Uh, people got nice houses. Yeah, you drive it. You drive for 30 minutes and see nothing, and then you just all of a sudden, boom, million dollar houses. Hold on, I'm fixing to go in here and talk to these guys at this restoration company. I just saw them. They gotta have me. I see them trying to work. Let's see what happens. Hey buddy, you live here or are you with a restoration company? Okay. Do you have somebody you're working with here? Yes, uh... Well, I mean on the tear outs, they don't do roofing. I have guys that can come in here and dry this in, the roofs, and roof it. Uh, I'll tell you what, even beyond this, my mom's been looking for. I'll take care of your mom, ma'am. I'll take care of her. Here's the deal. I got two if houses. If you can get me in this, I'll roof your mama's house for free. Well, these guys come out here and they put a half tarp on a whole house. So it's going to leak right there. 
where they didn't tarp it. And every day you're gonna get calls. So I come out with my guys. I wrap the whole thing. I got shrink wrap, where we can shrink wrap these roofs. And I'll give you a year warranty. Cause it's gonna be a year before you, they, they settle with you. I'm sure. You're going to have to fight them, and that's what I do. I fight them for free for you. I'm good. I've been doing this 30 years, ma'am, and I know all the tricks and tra trades. But do you get me this deal, and I'll roof your mama's house for free. Write down your mom's address. All she's, right? Now, she's got a house that she currently we have? Yeah. Hey, I got that deal. That deal's a done deal. Lee, Lee Hayden ain't got shit on me. We're going to go to this lady's house. We're gonna punch this in. We're gonna to go to this lady's house. I'm gonna tarp her house for free to get that job right there. Yeah. Now, some people say you're gonna do that for free and eat the money. No, I'm gonna spend five hundred dollars to make to get five hundred thousand. Okay, takes money to make money. Hands down. With the architect I, I, Yes, sir. 140 mile an hour wind radius. So if she gets me that job over there. I'm gonna roof your house for free. And architecture, 140 lifetime warranty. Can we use six nails instead six of nails. five? Six nails. You, asked half, you asked half the roofers? How many nails in a shingle? They're gonna say five. They six. Yeah. Six nail it. Uh, you put it on five exposure. Boom, go. Yeah, five, five nails are only 110 miles an hour. Sir, right. I, sir, I can put a roof on here. It won't come off next time. Okay. Right. Ain't gonna cost you a dime. Just you go to work for me. We're gonna push Kaelin to get you that job. Yeah. There you go, baby. Yeah. Hey, pass it up. I want to do everybody on your street. I bring my girlfriend okay, over here. Got That's there. okay. I yeah. bring my girlfriend over here and turn her loose. Yeah. She's real pretty. She, she'll okay. get them. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good day. You think I ain't got that deal? Huh. All right, man. Filming is over for the day. I've yeah. had enough. Yeah. I can't write the shit up I got. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to end this today and start back tomorrow.